In this video, we're going to be looking at the New King James Version Interleaved Bible Journal Edition. It has blank pages inserted between each page of scripture that are optimally suited to notes and journaling. And here is some promo material from Thomas Nelson about this Bible. It says, Ultimate Journaling Bible, NKJV Interleaved Bible. It says, Write the story of your spiritual growth. Inspired by Jonathan Edwards' Blank Bible. So that's a really interesting aspect of this Bible. This, I think, is actually a picture of Jonathan Edwards' special Bible and the notes that he wrote. It says here, Jonathan Edwards, one of America's most prominent and prolific Bible scholars and preachers of the 18th century, owned a Bible that literally had been cut up and rebound. Originally owned by his brother-in-law, Benjamin Pierpont, Edwards was given the unique Bible after Pierpont died. The Bible contained around 70 or so notes from Pierpont before Edwards owned it. Over the next 30 years, Edwards would add more than 5,500 entries in the blank pages. In light of Edwards' devotion to the Holy Scriptures, Thomas Nelson presents the interleaved Bible using the same concept of attaching a blank page next to Scripture this edition allows you the maximum space for recording sermon notes, prayers, observations, basically the story of your spiritual growth. And this lists the features here. Uh, the cover that we're looking at in this is a flax cloth-bound hardcover. It is a limited edition. They're going to come out with other covers in the future, I believe. It has a traditional double-column text, two double-faced satin ribbons, words of Christ are in red. It has 40 GSM paper, obviously for writing on, which is going to make a lot of people happy. Clear and readable 9-point NKJV comfort print. It retails for $49.99. So here it is, the NKJV Interleaved Bible Journal Edition. As I said, this is in a limited edition cover, so it sounds like this cover is not going to be available perpetually. But right now, this is the cover that is available. It comes in this slip case here, very simple. And on the back, it does have all of the features. As I said, it retails for $49.99. And I think what you're gonna see in this Bible really is something unique. It's a very pretty Bible, and the paper in this is just really something very nice. Very nice for what it's intended to do. Before we look inside, though, I'll get, give you a good look at that cover. I don't know what flax is, but apparently it's this stuff right here. It's a fabric cover over a hard board there, so nice sturdy cover. There's the spine. And I like the color scheme. <clears throat> has a red ribbon in this brownish ribbon. I'm not great with colors, so I'm just giving my best guess here with colors. When you get inside here, this piece down liner has a nice design to it as well. And there's the presentation page. You start to see what the uh, paper looks like here. It has a nice um, creamy tone to it. Here is the copyright page. This is the 2021 printing. And this Bible is newly released as I record this video, or it's going to be newly released. Table of contents. And I like this section here. It just gives you a little background about this Bible. It does talk some about uh, Jonathan Edwards and the background of the Bible that he used. It tells you a little bit about how to use the Bible. And you can use it in different ways for yourself. Obviously, personal study, recording prayers, uh, sermon or study notes, but also as something to pass on to others as you're recording your spiritual journey. This is a Bible you could pass on to the next generation. And then it has the preface to the New King James Version. And what we're seeing nicely with Thomas Nelson is, is really good printing in their Bibles. 
title page here for the Old Testament. And when we get into the biblical text, you have that two-column format with footnotes, translator notes at the bottom of the page. It is a paragraph-style Bible. Poetry will be in a poetic setting. But as you can see, what makes this Bible very special is the interleaved aspect of this Bible, these blank pages. And you can see it's pretty opaque paper, even though there's nothing written on this page. You can see a little bit of the text behind it, but it's really not bad. And where there is biblical text, uh, there's very minimal ghosting. It's certainly not bothersome. But if you like to journal, or if you want to have something that you can just put extensive notes in for personal study, for sermons, whatever, uh, this is definitely a great option. Now, one of the things that I think is maybe not my preference is I, I feel like if I had these extra pages, I would prefer them to be lined, but I think they're patterning it, I guess, after the Jonathan Edwards style, which maybe that was just blank pages. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people will like having blank pages. I'd love to know in the comments why you think blank pages are your preference and how you would use these blank pages um, and, and why you think it's better than lined paper if that's your preference. If you prefer lined paper, you can put that in the comments too. For me, I think I would prefer lined paper because I would have a hard time writing straight. Although I know you could just make your own lines on these pages. On the other hand, if you're artistic and you want to do more than just notes, you can also do illustrations in this Bible, which is really nice. Okay, and then when you get to the middle of the Bible, you see the poetic setting of Psalm there. And this is the comfort print. I think it said it was a nine point font. It is 40 GSM paper. So you really have uh, some nice materials in here. And for about $50, actually less, that's retail price is $50. But if you go online, I'm sure you can get it for less than that. This is really a good deal. The end of the Old Testament here, we get into the New Testament. I like this title page. It's got New Testament and then the words of Christ in red, and they did that in red ink. And let's look at that red printing. And as I've been seeing a lot with Thomas Nelson and Zondervan, they are doing a really good job with their red print. Looks really nice, consistent from what I've seen. Very readable. It's not like super dark red, but it's definitely dark enough. It's not a bright red, and it has a very pleasant look to it. So that's the red letter text for the words of Christ. And when you get to the end of the Bible here, very end of Revelation, you see that it just ends... There's one more blank sheet, and on the back of that, it has a note regarding the type, and then your end sheet. It's a very, very nice design. I think it looks really pretty. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this, not just because of its looks, but because of its functionality. So if you are a writer, he's someone who likes to write extensively in your Bible, I think this is a Bible that you are going to really love. And again, that is called the NKJV Interleave Bible Journal Edition. If you have any questions or comments about this Bible, I'd love to see that in the comment section. Thank you so much for taking a look at this with me, brought to you from a first perspective.